So we're giving away is essentially a man cave makeover. Over $1,000 worth of inventory for the person out there that subscribed to the channel and that follows us, that loves the channel, right? Yeah. That's a great prize. It's a great giveaway. Hey everyone, Maz here, and I'm back with my man Foch. Foch, what are we doing today? Today we're having a celebration. What are we celebrating? 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm so happy that everyone is here with us to celebrate, because without you, none of this would be possible. So the only thing left to do, Foch, is let's get these cigars fired up and get this party started. That's good. Right? Yeah. It's hard to believe 100,000 subscribers, right? YouTube. Yep. I like can't ce believe it. Celebrating this. I mean, it seems like almost surreal like when you think about it because when we first started this whole process, you know, we didn't even know what to expect, right? Right. I know the guy, obviously the guys behind the camera, our whole crew, we didn't know what to expect. And to see how this, this channel has evolved and the feedback we've gotten from people, it's just, it's really amazing. And it's, yeah. it's rewarding. And it's, obviously, we have a lot of fun here. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's work, oh, right? Absolutely. It's work. And obviously, I always give the guys behind the camera all the credit. They put so much work in. And we hear that from people, by the way. You know, when we encounter people, and from all over. Mm -hmm. I had a guy from uh, Venice, Italy. And he came in, and not only did he commend our channel, he commended the guys behind the camera. He said the editing, the sound, the, the way you guys uh, position the videos. So we Yeah, I mean, that, without them, I mean, oh, you know, these videos wouldn't yeah. be as... Yeah, let's face it, we get the fun part. Not that these guys are, you know, not having fun behind the camera, they right. are. But, you know, we're the face of the videos, mm -hmm. but there's so much more work that goes on behind it. So obviously I'm happy uh, for us, right? I'm um, happy for these guys, extremely happy for these guys, because this is all their blood, sweat, and tears, and yeah. you know, kudos to them. As a matter of fact, we should do a little to the guys behind yeah, the camera. Absolutely. To you, to Salute, you guys, guys, thank you so much. You guys are the best. You, you make us look good, which is hard to do. This, yeah. You know, there's a couple pretty faces, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. But in all seriousness, the, the gratitude goes towards you, right? The yep. people out there, because if you didn't hit that subscribe button, we wouldn't be here celebrating 100,000 subscribers. And the thing is, obviously, this is just part of the journey. You know, we hope to continue this, you know, build more subscribers, build more excellent content for right. people out there that truly love the cigar culture, yeah. right? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make people understand to educate, keep it fun, keep it light, not be stuffy, maybe let people see like us as we are, like tr truly who we are. Like mm -hmm. people are like, oh, you're trying to hide the fact that you're a snob. We're not snobs. Mm -hmm. I mean, nope. kind of hard to say that today we're drinking some champagne, but right. we're celebrating. So if you're out there, you want to pour yourself something to celebrate with us, go right ahead. No one's judging. No one's going to call you a snob, right? Yeah, we're far from snobs. Right. But you know, this is a, w a great way to connect with people. And as I said, like all over the world, I mean, I just used one person, for example, a gentleman from Venice, Italy, but I've, I've had people come up to me from all over the country, uh, people from Canada. I had a, a, a woman come into the downtown store mm -hmm. and she was uh, from England and she had literally had me FaceTime her husband, who's a subscriber to our channel because you know, I was standing there and she was like, my husband's a big fan of your channel, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I got to actually talk to the guy via FaceTime over in England. Yeah, that's amazing. So, like I said, a lot of credit to go around. Yeah. But without you, the subscriber, none of this would be possible. So, a debt of gratitude to you guys. I'm happy you guys are enjoying the content. We love bringing it to you, obviously. We love talking about what we're passionate about, yeah. right? And we want to make it approachable. We want to make it fun. We want to make it educational. All those things in one. So if you subscribe, you definitely get what we're throwing out there, right? That people get the, the, the message we're trying to convey. Right. And, you know, the fact that they appreciate it, I mean, that means the world to us, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
And by the way, this champagne is, is excellent. Excellent. Yeah, right? I'm not a big champagne guy, but this is good. Right? So, mm. Billicart? Billicart salmon? Mm hmm. I think, in mean, full disclosure, this was chosen for us mm -hmm. by someone who knows, or actually probably forgot more about champagne than we'll ever know. Right. Uh, he has exquisite taste. He happens to be the owner of our company, <laughs> but he knows great champagne for sure. And uh, I've actually had this one time previously, and I forgot how good this this champagne is. Yeah, it is very good. I mean, right? you know, I'm not a big champagne guy, but this is this is good. Right, real and then, good. And, and it goes really well. With cigars we're smoking today. Yeah. I mean, today's more about a celebration as as opposed to a cigar review. Right. But the cigars that we're smoking go really well with champagne. Mm -hmm. You got, what do you got there? I got the Ashton Cabinet number two. Right, and I got the Hemingway Classic. Yeah. Right, so you want a cigar that's gonna be flavorful, approachable, obviously champagne's delicate. Right. You don't want to overpower it, plus the shapes of the cigars. Yeah. They're perfecto shapes, they're figurados. It's a nice elegant shape. It's a regal, elegant shape. It's a celebration cigar, yeah. right? And they're perfectly matched and paired with the champagne, yeah. so. And by the way, I'm guessing you guys at home are wondering why we're not drinking out of champagne flutes. And full transparency, I just learned this today. You know, you should drink a good dry champagne out of a wine glass. The wider mouth allows for the champagne to open and get more air and also emanates the beautiful aromas coming from the champagne. 100%. You know, I think, you know, there's a misconception, you know, maybe you go to a wedding and you see like fluted glasses on the table and it's only for a toast. So of course they're not using the highest caliber champagne. Right. A flute will actually mask kind of an inexpensive, even like a little sweeter champagne. Mm -hmm. But with a high caliber dry champagne like this one, you want something like this wine glass or even like a coupe, you know, mm -hmm. you've seen the, right. the wide open, so it has a really wide mouth to really take in the aroma yeah. and really open up the champagne. Absolutely, yeah, so, and I never knew that. No, you know, and the only reason I know that is because for years I used flutes, even with finer champagnes, when, you know, we were celebrating New Year's Eve, whatever it might be. And, you know, our owner who actually shared this bottle with us today, he told me, he said, listen, don't use a flute next time. Try a wine glass with a wider mouth or use a coupe. That's the proper way for a high caliber dry champagne. And once I start using that, I realized, you know, as you bring it up to your mouth, you really get the aroma. And obviously, as we know with cigars, the aroma of something, right, yeah. adds to the flavor and the way it hits the palate. Yep. So this is actually the proper stemware. So if anybody's wondering out there, you know, and you just learned that today. Like I said, I, I, I haven't known that for very long. Mm -hmm. But for anybody out there, you're celebrating, you have a fine, dry champagne, try a wine glass like this or maybe a coupe, which has a really wide mouth. That's the best way to drink it. Yeah. So, Fast, do you remember the first video we did together and kind of like what you were thinking at the time? I do. When you asked me to do these videos and the guys asked me to do these videos with you, I was kind of nervous at first. It's understandable. I'm still nervous to this day. It's a great experience for me. Right. You have a lot more experience well, doing you know, these types of things. Well, you know, and for people out there who've been watching the channel from like Jump Street, mm -hmm. before you kind of jumped in with us and start doing this, which obviously it's been a great, obviously excellent addition, mm -hmm. fan Thank favorite you. at this point, right? I was doing these alone, so I had just more time. And it's just like, mm -hmm. I think it's like anything else you do. It's like. The more you ride a bike, the better you get on a bike. So right. being in front of a camera and talking to people, just being yourself, it's hard at times, you know? But I think you do a phenomenal job of it. But put, put it this way, do you remember what we were, the first video we did together, what were we smoking? Do you remember that? I do. It's actually the Fuente Hemingway. Which I'm smoking today, mm -hmm. ironically. I, yeah, I don't remember the size, but I know it was the Hemingway. Right, so today I'm smoking the classic. It could have been the signature, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I remember we started in the humidor. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the last time we had that cigar. Mm -hmm. There's times when you get away from the cigar yeah. and you haven't revisited it in a while. Right. And that day, I remember knowing that we were going to shoot the Hemingway video and thinking to myself, I don't know the last time I've actually had that cigar. Yeah. Because even though it's an exceptional blend and it's an iconic blend at this point, you just kind of drift away because there's so many great choices out there of cigars. Sure, sure. And also, I, I remember like sitting there, I, I'm trying to think, what, were we, what did we pair it with? I think I it was- I think it was rum. It was either Zacapa or Zion. I don't remember the rum it was, but I believe it was rum. Right, because we were thinking like Cuban lineage, Fuente, which mm -hmm. a lot of the industry obviously has Cuban lineage, but particularly Fuente, we were talking about them specifically that day and talking about like the original pairing in Cuba might have been, you know, a fine rum, right? right and a fine cigar. Mm -hmm. That's why we wanted to do it. Yeah. And it's funny how things have evolved. Oh yeah, 
I mean, right. it was definitely a great experience for me, you know, working with you and the guys. Yeah, right. And, and even though I, I, when I looked at that video originally, because I can remember, like, after it was complete and it was edited and we were looking at it, thinking to myself, I was like, man, was, that's outstanding. And it still is. It holds mm -hmm. up. But to see how far we've come, you know, from a production perspective and content perspective, mm -hmm. and we kind of found our way, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where being ourselves here with, with the audience and with the subscribers out there, we found our own kind of, like, groove, mm -hmm. right? So that's, that's really cool. That's, like, to come this far, is, to me, is very rewarding. And obviously to be celebrating champagne, 100,000 yeah. subscribers. So it's a big milestone we hit. I agree. So do you have a favorite moment or favorite video, you know, since we've been doing this? I don't know. That's a tough call. I really thoroughly enjoy all of them. I mm -hmm. really do. They're always a lot of fun. I think guess the cigars are always fun, mm -hmm. right? Even the long ash competitions, because it's, you know, one against the other. As right. opposed to like when we do guess the cigar, it's like we're a team. But I thoroughly enjoy them all. I have to say a lot of the the moments that I enjoy the most are kind of like the moments with these guys behind the camera, like laughing, having a great time. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. kind of like even the bloopers, like the outtakes. Well, the that long ash competition, the one they edited was yeah, that was probably great. one of my favorite. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there. I, <laughs> I think of the comments that I've heard over the years about our channel. That original, I guess, was the original long ash competition. I think it was. When you dr dropped the ash and you caught it, <laughs> and they these guys did a phenomenal, phenomenal job, job in editing, editing it, yeah. with the slow motion and the groaning and all. But, <laughs> you know, it's it really hard to pick one, but I have mm -hmm. to say, I, I thoroughly enjoy all the aspects of what we do. I really do. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I love speaking to the audience right here through the camera. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the experience of sitting with you and, and obviously just sharing information with people and the experience of being with these guys in this room that are very, very talented. So all of it is very memorable. Uh, it's hard to really choose one specific video, but I, I have to say, like, if I had to nail it down to a series maybe, I think Guess the Cigar is really my, I love doing that. So do I. Because I like the competition, we're together in mm -hmm. it, but I love challenging myself. Yeah. And I always think it's like, it's kind of scary. Like, am I gonna, are we gonna get it? Right? It's so kind of nerve-wracking a little bit. It is nerve-wracking because there's people that definitely think that we know the answer and we don't know the answer. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of pressure, but I like that pressure. It's fun. It's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. And I love the fact, like as I said, that we, we started with a game in the store that we played amongst ourselves mm -hmm. and we brought it to the table. Yeah. And then the reaction from the people out there has been extremely great, mm -hmm. right? People are loving it. So I love that kind of back and forth engagement with our subscribers. Yeah, I agree, Maz. Guess the Cigar is probably my favorite episode also. And you know, I know everyone out there is really eager to find out the big giveaway we're doing today right. for the 100,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. But I'm equally as eager to find out what these guys behind the camera put together for us. They have a special video for us. Hmm. So hopefully you enjoy it with us. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready. This is the moment we waited for. Everything you want is right here. Anthony here, welcome to my fans account. I just dropped a ton of ash on myself. It's as simple as that. So expertly made by George, I told you to shut the up. <laughs> Stop letting the groans out over here. I know you want to be on camera. I smoke my cigars unconsciously. That's how good I am. I can be unconscious and smoke a cigar better than you. I'm spiced man. How far, like, like just do one of these? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Out of frame? In a frame. Right now. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Pipe down. Hey everyone, Anthony here. And today, we're talking about two of my favorite rappers Eminem. <laughs> I forgot. Starting with the Amado Campo. Then the Ama Fuego, then the Ama Fuente. <laughs> Fuente? <laughs> did I say Fuente? Yes, you did. So when I smoke this cigar, I really think to myself, Escurio, my God. 
<laughs> you want to put a little pep in your step? This is a cigar you definitely want to try. Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today I'm smoking the EPC Carrillo La Historia. <laughs> the pallet jack in the background. And no one's looking, go into the U-Mortar. <laughs> now I'm just getting in my own way. Choose your weapon wisely, young Fuck Jedi. It, I'm gonna go. <laughs> 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 Ooh, what are you? Yeah, you going with that one shit? <laughs> That's pretty good. You get the benefit of a tapered head, which has a great mouthfeel, especially if you're opposed to the larger ring gauges. <laughs> you know, you smoke small ring gauges, you don't want to think too big in the mouth. <laughs> but with a, I got lost in my mouth. I'm, I'm thinking about people are going to be talking about mouth. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, dude, that's so weird. funny. So, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> now that's sitting by a fireplace. And a cold wind. I love like, it. I love it. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> blanket. It makes me want to take my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> that takes putting off smoke. Yeah, it is. Hot. <laughs> I got road flare here. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Daisy from Singapore. Hello. Hello, Daisy. Don't be a <laughs> asshole, Aunt, all right? Yes. Want me to send you all, all my money? Yes. No problem. Yep. My shoes, too. Okay. <laughs> but you know, next time you want to uh, bond with a, a primate. Don't do that with crying. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the zoo. Don't do don't that. Don't show me your Don't do that. That's a fight. Don't show me your That's <laughs> You're asking for a fight. No, don't wave. You want to connect with them. What you do, you do this. <laughs> I swear to God. Do it. <laughs> you serious? You'll see, you'll get a reaction. I don't go to the zoo That's much. the way they communicate. Next episode, Fox is going to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt. <laughs> what? No, you, you said you're not doing that. The box is there. <laughs> he's, he's like, when did this box get back here? It's too not, dude. You, the, the fox mice, like, the fox is supposed to be there. So, oh, that's a surprise. Oh You're God. like, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Dude, my like, that's so 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 when you did that reaction, was like, what's he doing? And I was going to try to be supportive, which we all know you're not. So I'm supportive. You know, stand up, humidor. Put it right in the box. In sorry. Buy it. So, Fatch, when it comes down to the cigar, 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 cigar. You know what's funny? Oh, I noticed a trend. Steve's cigar world. Face it. Like I think the good wolf. I'm sorry. Buy it. First, I'm sorry. Buy it. I just think it's where price meets <laughs> quality. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of people ask us, you know, what are simica... Simica... I don't even have... Simica... 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 First of all, I love to smoke a cigar outdoors. But weather... <laughs> Come in. Oh my Today, god, I'm dude, I'm losing it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Hey, I need a tissue. So, Fudge, I, I think a lot of people are all over to, my to go into cigar yeah. lounges. <laughs> like I was thinking about Stop you. It. I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. After the oh non-alcoholic stuff, this really hits the, the boo-boo. <laughs> mm. oh. Never mind all that prune juice stuff we were drinking. Give us the real heat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's funny, Foch? I love smoking a cigar. Yeah, take yeah. it again. <laughs> I wanted to see what time it was to shut the f up to make them shut the f up. Is it f up time? No, it's not yet. I mean, they, well. <laughs> well, then stop looking at your watch. <clears throat> so, Maz, I was in the store today, and a customer came in and wanted. <laughs> so, what happened there? So, pun. Punch. <laughs> Yo, punch. Yo. What do you think about the Fudge Vintage? <laughs> so, Maz, before we talk about the blend of the cigar, can you give us a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> a little less dramatic with the chin. Mm. That, that better? That's better, yeah. 
You're as smooth <laughs> as Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> You're as sweet <laughs> as strawberry wine. I thought you didn't know the lyrics. That's all I know. All right. <laughs> hey, everyone. Oh, wait. I forgot something. Before we get started, I, there's, a, there's a small list of demands that I have since I've been coming so popular. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. So what just, is, what's on the top of your list? Well, I just wanted to get this, you know, out there. Um, Created a monster, Mike. Him. Well, listen, there's a couple things we need, or that I want. Um, I want. Hydrogen water. Oh. That's number one. I like that. We definitely need, like, a makeup and hair artist in the room. At all times. At all times. All right. And smelling salts. <laughs> <laughs> smelling salts. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I gained like three followers since I posted my uh, video. Do me a favor. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding you. No, go ahead. No, talk to Mark. Is there anything else that you want to address? That's great. Wow, that was funny. That was great, dude. <laughs> what was your favorite part? My favorite part the was... Bunky. No, my favorite part, well, yeah, maybe your girl. girl. <laughs> my favorite part was proof positive that you're not supportive. That, <laughs> that you make good. fun of me every time I mess up. And when you mess up, I don't do anything. I just sit there quietly. It's like, dirty, you great. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you guys captured that. Oh, so that thank was great. you. Yeah. Great He's like, video. I don't do that. I'm like, there it is. Yeah. The pudding. Dude, I had to get tissues. I mean, I literally, I couldn't even see out of my glasses. So I needed funny. windshield wipers out of my glasses. Yeah, they did a great job on that one. I mean, you guys kill it all the time with production. With that editing, phenomenal. Right? Yeah. That is, <laughs> and listen, if you're not entertained by that, I don't know what you're going to be entertained by. <laughs> right? That was great. That was awesome. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. But now the big moment, Foch, that everyone's been waiting for, the big giveaway. Right. So what we're giving away is essentially a man cave makeover. Over $1,000 worth of inventory for the person out there that subscribed to the channel and that follows us, that loves the channel, right? Yeah. That's a great prize. It's a great giveaway. And we have humidor, a great cutter. We have ashtrays. We have apparel. We have glassware. Everything you need to start up that man cave. Man Cave Makeover. Yeah. So Fox, all they need to do is click the link in the description and follow us on all social media platforms to get extra entries for the giveaway. So before we say goodbye, is there anything you guys want to say to our massive cigar community that's watching this video right now? Man, that's a good question, right? First of all, I feel extremely grateful for all the subscribers out there, people that are entertained, educated from the content that we collectively put out there, right? It means the world to us. Absolutely. That people are interested in our lifestyle, our culture, our passion, you know, obviously even our, our career path, you know, yep. it's something that we thoroughly enjoy. And if we convey that message to you, uh, the viewer, that's very rewarding. And I feel extremely grateful for people out there. And as far as like the cigar culture, the cigar world that we dwell in, I wouldn't want to be in any other industry in the world but this industry. There's so many great people in this industry, family businesses, yep. second generation, third generation. They've worked so hard to produce a product that we thoroughly enjoy. And even though we have a ton of fun putting these videos together and enjoying these moments, and we try to educate people and also make it light, the people that produce the cigars put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into their product. So for the masses out there that maybe don't know that, um, the people that make the cigars are the people that deserve really high accolades. Because I think the people out there might not even uh, uh, know it or appreciate it as much as we do, we see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a full circle kind of like vibe, you know? But yeah. the, the people behind the brands are the people that deserve, I think, the highest accolades. They put something, a luxury item together that the world enjoys all over the world and we thoroughly enjoy it and they give us the platform like this to actually talk about it yeah i mean i couldn't have said it any better myself Maz. um you know just thank you guys for subscribing watching these videos we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts uh, and hopefully you know we'll bring you more content yeah absolutely so i want to thank everyone out there for joining us today and oh, wait a minute you know what i just noticed go ahead we're wearing the same socks. We are. You want to talk about that? I mean, how did that happen? Uh, 
We were on vacation together with our wives. I grabbed these socks. You Did you see me grab these no, socks? No, I didn't. Okay, so then you brought them separately. And today, we both decided to show up for the 100,000 subscriber video with, with lemon socks and yellow ties. That's crazy. So if you're wondering out there, we didn't coordinate it. Not at all. Right? Yeah. So, stop robbing my game. Moving well, forward. Listen. Okay. <laughs> By the way, full disclosure to everyone out there. I paid more for these socks than you did. You went to a bobo shop for no, these I socks. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're you just upset said. because I paid $2 less. Correct. So, I guess right. the only thing left to do is obviously thank everyone out there yes. for joining us today. Thank you for getting us to 100,000 subscribers. Here's to 200,000 subscribers. Yes. But before we depart, mm -hmm. I want to thank you for joining us. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button. And, and we'll, we'll see you here next time. time.